Welcome everyone to Beat the Game. My name's Steve, and uh, we are starting up another Thor edition. And uh, we're going up against uh, Norman Osborn and uh, Tombstone as the modular encounter set. So let's just take a look at our deck build uh, before we start. So, obviously we got our 15 cards. Uh, let's look at the Justice cards that we decided to take. We're running two Powers of Justice. Uh, we're running one Spycraft. That is going to be mostly the... If, if we get it on the board, it's going to be for a Shadow of the Past that we're going to really want to get rid of. We're running one Low-Cost Interrogation Room. Uh, we're running one Followed. And then we're running one under surveillance, one counterintelligence, we're running quake, two stealth strikes, one concussive blow, Agent Coulson, Jessica Jones, and Daredevil. So these are the uh, justice cards that we are using today. And then we are using, obviously, in the normal, where we're using our triple double resource. Uh, we are playing two honorary Avengers. That is mostly going to be for either Coulson or it's going to be for Quake and for, uh, for Daredevil. Uh, we have one first aid kit uh, in case we have to heal our guys. And then we have one downtime in case we have to heal ourselves. And then we have the Quinn Carrier, Avengers Mansion, Mockingbird, Lockjaw, and Nick Fury. So these are uh, what we are running for this game. All right, so let's just start up. Let's just start shuffling. This is going to be our build. And we're going up against, we're just going to play again, Expert, just to keep this, uh, not to keep this too long, just keep it short and sweet. Let's shuffle a little bit, and then let's, uh, let's shuffle these up. And here we go. So yeah, so like I said, I got into a little argument with somebody who called me a military style uh, post copy pasta. I don't know what that is, but it was pretty funny anyway. So he was saying that Thor is garbage and whatever. And let's just prove him wrong. So let's uh, let's play a game against Thor uh, with Norman Osborn. Now I did play Norman Osborn. The reason why is Thor is not good at mitigating threat. So let's place a heavy threat scenario uh, that plays a lot of side schemes. So this should be pretty interesting. Uh, let's just keep shuffling these cards. We're putting like a thousand piles here. Uh, the reason why is we just, there you go. It's just easier to shuffle and then we'll bring them all back together. And that's it. There we go. One, two, three, piles, piles, and piles. All right. And then we've got ourselves a shuffling game. All right. That is good. All right. So somebody's watching us. I got a feeling somebody's watching me. All right, let's look at our opening hand. So we have 14 health. Norman Oz has got 18. I need to do two damage uh, to flip him. We got our little counters here. We got everything all set up. We have our damage counters. All right, let's just set this board up a little bit cleaner so you guys can see it properly. And yeah, I think that's pretty good. So you guys can see our hand. You can see what's going on on the table. All right, there you go. Sounds like a plan. All right, let's look. Let's do one quick shuffle again. Here we go. And then let's see what we got. Ah, oh, for Asgard. Oh, you know what? The last video I had for Asgard starting. You know what? Let's just get rid of it. Like, I did, I'm not even looking at the rest of the hand. I just don't want to... I, I don't want to see like I'm... I got it always a perfect hand. So let's just get rid of four Asgard. If we get our Asgard in our opening hand, then... All right, so I reshuffle this. If we're meant to have it, we're meant to have it. Two, three, four, and five. All right, well, that's interesting enough. 
Okay, so there's no minions. Um, we could play a Queen Carrier on our turn one, then we could play an Interrogation Room. Uh, I think we're going to discard a Followed and the Interrogation Room to see if we can get something better. And then we have, ah, I got a Thunder and a Lady Sith. Oh, man. All right, well, that is extraordinary news. Right, so that's five cards. And we'll call out Worthy. So let's go look for our Mjolnir. All right, that is super, super awesome because then we get we get some resources on the table and then we get Mjolnir. All right, I like it. All right, so let's go and then we're going to flip on onto Thor. And then what do we do with Thor? All right. We're definitely going to punch. Hmm. Oh, this could have been interesting. Wait, 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 wait. All right, we haven't played anything yet. So let's take, let's take a look at this. All right, this could be interesting. Play two. Play Lady Sif. Get four damage. Heal four. And then f and go into an attack. Now that could be interesting. Also, I could go... Two for a God of Thunder, and then three for a Queen Carrier, and one, and then not play Lady Sif right now. I think, you know what? I, I think having two resource generators on the table, I think that's probably the best. So let's just do this. We're going to play Strength for a God of Thunder. We're going to use God of Thunder and Energy to play a Queen Carrier, and then Queen Carrier to play Mjolnir. And we'll keep Lady Sith, and then we're going to, unfortunately, punch for two. Or, wait a second. Let's just remove one threat. Let's, uh, let's make it worth our while there to punch him. All right. Let's just do that. And then we have four cards. So, Stealth Strike, God of Thunder, and our helmet. All right. So hopefully, maybe we get a a friend in, inside that can help us. All right, so one threat goes on the main key. And then Norman Osborn wants to attack, cannot. So he's going to place two infamy counters. So that is at four. And then we get our encounter card, which is a advanced. Oh, that sucks. So two plus one. So that's three goes up to five. Man, all right. That went up fast. All right. It's only a seven. We don't want to get that there anytime soon. All right. So here we go. And then let's see what we play. So definitely going to have to remove something here. Uh, you know what? Let's just punch. We're going to punch for three on Norman Osborn. We are then going to... <laughs> One of my kids' toys just activated. Uh, I kind of want to play my God of Thunder here. So I might just play God of Thunder, Stealth, and play my helmet to go up to 19. Man, I, I like reducing my deck size. So right now, it's, uh, it's very fortunate that we can do it. Um... We just got to make sure he doesn't scheme. Because uh, if we if he goes to the next stage, but look at all the resources we have right now. One, two, three. We have our helmet. Man, we are we're in so good such good shape right now. We're gonna keep Lady Sith. Two, three, and four. All right, definitely playing Lady Sith this turn. One threat goes on the main scheme. He wants to attack. Places two infamy counters. Encounter card is. Master plan. We're going to reveal until we get a collapsing bridge, which is unfortunate. <laughs> because now I, I have to remove this first. Oh, man. All right. So that is super annoying. Okay. I would have liked to have a minion here. All right. So I think what we're going to do, we don't have a choice. All right. So one, two, three. 
Uh, plus a hammer throw. And we're gonna... Wait, wait, wait. We're gonna remove... Oh, no. Are we punching? Yeah, we're gonna punch for three. Like, well, let's flip him into Norman Osborne. I ain't really goblin over there. He's flipping. This goes to the State of Madness. There we go. And we take four damage. Alright. If we're gonna play Lady Sif, and then we're gonna go one, two, three, and a hammer throw to play Lady Sif. To Ready Thor, we're gonna remove two threat from the collapsing bridge. Thor is going to remove one threat from the hostile takeover. That's going to take one. We're going to play an honorary Avenger on Lady Sif. We're going to keep Mockingbird for next turn. All right, let's let's uh, let's go up. Now, hopefully, we can get a minion here and then be able to increase our hand size. All right, so we have a Defender of the Nine Realms and a Lockjaw. All right, so we're good. I'm not too worried about threat now. Six goes here. Uh, he's going to attack Thor directly. Four plus zero. So we'll take four more. We'll be at eight damage. All right. And then our encounter card is Tombstone. How about the drawing two cards, a first aid and a, uh, <laughs> a lightning strike. All right. So as good as that is right now, I have no lightning resources in my hand, so that's a little sad. All right, so let's just play. All right, first things first, I don't think we have a choice. We are going to punch for three into Tombstone, because he is a beast. I'm going to do Defender of the Nine Realms. We're going to look for, there you go, a guard. Abati! Drawing two cards. Stealth Strike and Daredevil. All right, I like that. Uh, we don't really have a choice here. So we don't we don't have a lot of good cards that we can play. Lady Sif is going to remove two threats. So that is going to go down to four out of seven. All right. And then she's going to take one of these. All right. So we have one, two, three resources. So we can do three damage, which is not enough. So let's not play dumb. So let's just, first of all, we can do this. So we have a defender. All right, so let's just play one, two, three. We're going to play a stealth strike. We're going to do four damage on the guard. And we're going to remove two threats. There you go. Crisis averted. Okay. Then we need to do some more damage on that clown. All right. So let's keep our lightning strike. And I'm, as much as I want to play Lockjaw, I think I'm going to go check this out. Lockjaw, Daredevil, and First Aid to play a Mockingbird. That is going to stun Tombstone. We're going to use our Lightning Strike since we have a Spy to play a Spycraft. Which is very good because now I can avoid if there's something really bad, I can counter it. Uh, four. Alright, and then I will do one damage. And I'll do one damage to Tombstone. So he only has... Uh, five health left. All right, so I can take him out on my next turn. All right, this is this is going super well. All right, I have two allies, so Mockingbird might just take a hit here because uh, I'm already at eight out of nineteen. So one, two. Oh man, three, four. All right, so we got allies for days, so that's pretty good. Now the only thing I'm a little uh, concerned about is okay. I'll definitely play an Avengers Mansion and then I'll probably play Quake. We'll see, we'll see what goes. All right, first things first one threat goes on the main scheme, goes up to three. 
Green Goblin is attacking us. Uh, he's attacking for four into the Mockingbird. Four plus zero. Mockingbird is taking the hit and going down. All right, and then Tombstone wants to attack. He's stunned, so I don't need to discard a card. And I'm going to take an encounter card, which is Hired Gun. Choose to give a villain. So we're going to give the villain a face down boost card. Uh, and that's it. Uh, yeah, that's it. So unfortunately, uh, we don't have what we are looking for. All right. What are we doing here? So we can punch for three. Oh, neat. Arati. And we're drawing our two cards, which is a hammer throw and a Nicholas Fury. Oh, my God. All right. Okay. Hold our horses. So one, two, three, plus a Jessica Jones to play Nick Fury to draw three extra cards. So Asgard. And two Defender of the Nine Realms. Oh, all right. Um, all right. How are we playing this now? Come on, Steve. Let's get rid of the Defenders of the Nine Realm and Agent uh, Coulson to play Asgard. So this is going to really help us out. And then... And then and then, what do we do? I kind of want to play my hammer throw, uh, but we can't right now. So, one, two, let's play Quake. All right. So, we're going to punch for, so seven. All right, so we're going to punch for three on Tombstone uh, with, the, with Thor. Then Nick Fury is going to punch for two, so that is going to make nine, so Tombstone is out. Alright, Quake is going to punch for two and take one, and then and Nick Fury took one as well, and I only have one health, uh, one yeah, you know what? Let's uh, let's just get rid of this guy. All right. So bang, he gone, and then she take one. All right. All right. So all our teams have done really nice work. Here we go. Here we go. Let's ready up. Let's not forget that he does get a boost card. So, and then we get five cards from now on. Oh, man. This is going to be fun times. All right. So one, two, three. Four, five. Oh, man. I really hope there's a minion. So five cards, because this is not an expensive hand. Oh, yes, but it doesn't matter, because I do have a Lockjaw in the bin. So I think I'm just going to bring back Lockjaw after this. One threat goes on the main scheme. Goblin wants to attack. He's going to attack into Nick Fury for four. Oh, son of a gun. Remove a counter. Plus... Three. Thank you, Nick. That was a good hit you took. All right. Under fire. Man, I'm so glad that didn't come in. And then the next one is Hired Gun. Son of a guy. Let's give him another boost card. All right. Okay. That worked. All right. So we're going to pay two to play a counterintelligence. All righty then. We are going to punch for three. Oh, Avati! Son of a gun. Stop forgetting, Steve. All right, there you go. Uh, and then three to punch the hired gun. And then we are going to play. Oh, yeah, we got to play this. We're going to pay... Two for an under surveillance. That can go up to 11. I'm not even worried anymore. Um, hmm. I kind of want to, kind of want to, should have, could have, would have, huh? That's not making any sense, Steve. All right. Let's see what we do. Let's play Queen Carrier for a downtime. On ourselves. 
Let's play. Let's play what? One, two, hammer throw, and uh, our Elmery Avenger to bring back Lockjaw from the bin. Bam. So Lockjaw goes in. And you know what? He will remove two threats and take two hits. And I think just because I am going to flip into Odin Sun. And then this is going to go down to two. All right. If he does scheme, it doesn't really matter. And then we're back to full strength. We have all our resources. We're doing super good. All right. And this is a Thor Justice deck against Expert Nor a Green Goblin. All right. So one, two, three, four. We're going to take an encounter card. Now, he's not going to scheme, but he's going to transform into Norman Osborn. And if he does scheme, I have this, so I'm not too worried. The scheme is at, is the threat is at two. And then we can just recover. One, two, three, four, five, and six. So we'll follow. Oh, man, we got some good stuff. We'll be able to confuse him next turn as well. And for Asgard, oh, you know what? We can always go get our Lady Sith back if we do need it. All right, we got some plays. We do have some plays. All right, first things first. One threat will go on the main scheme. Ah, it goes to three. All right, son of a... Get out! All right, whatever. It's at three. Get out. Get out! Get out of the chopper! He's going to scheme. He's going to remove one madness counter, and he's going to go back into Storming Norman. All right, and then he's going to get my encounter card. The boost is going to stay there unless he gets an uh, exhaustion. Man, this is an annoying card. All right, uh, we are going to sit down, uh, get another card, which is a Assault, which is going to surge into a Oscorp factory with three counters on it and an acceleration. All right, let's not forget that. And the next one is... Shadow of the Past. Oh, man. What did I say? This is why Spycraft has been created. And we'll get rid of Shadows of the Past and just get a media coverage. Attach your identity card. Uh, all right. When revealed, then I need to spend a mental resource to get rid of that. Well, that is not a problem, sirs. All right. So that is super good. Um... We are not too worried about that. Okay, first things first. Let's use our mental resource to get rid of this. That goes away. All right. Um, hmm. I want it to heal, but obviously I'm not allowed to, so... Oh, man, we're going to take a little bit of a hit. All right, let's just do this. Uh... Lockjaw is going to punch for two, flipping the goblin back. We'll take another four damage. Ouch. So we are at six plus six is 12 damage out of 19. And we are exhausted, which is super frustrating. Uh, okay. Let us do what instead? All right, let us... We'll remove two threats, and we'll get rid of Lady Sif. She's going to go in the bin, as well as this. We are then going to use a Followed to play Full Asgard. All right, and we're going to go get our Lady Sif. Is it? Search your deck and discard pile for a card. All right. And I think what we're going to do is, as much as I want to keep my lightning strike, I cannot use anything else. So we're going to go one, two, three, four for Sif to ready, remove six damage, flip it to Thor. That's all exhausted. And Lady Sif will remove. Nah, she can just remove two threat from the main. Uh, no, just let's get rid of the acceleration. And she'll take one. 
gets rid of the acceleration, and we are really, really in control, even though we just avoided a nice shadow of the past uh, that could have been really bad for us, but we took care of that. And I, I don't have any more cards, so I could play my Gods of Thunder because they're uh, hero, hero resources. All right, so let's draw five cards. Ah, there you go, and another Nick Fury. All right, we're going to start doing some damage here because we haven't even started bashing uh, our friend yet. And I think that's what's going to happen here. So one threat will go on the main scheme. Uh, Goblin is going to attack into Quake for 4 plus 3 is 7 plus 8, removing a State of Madness counter. All right, that goes away. And then our encounter card is... Ah, oh, son of a gun. He's flipping back into Norman Osborn. Ah, <laughs> man, that's frustrating. But it's okay, because that is the way the cookie crumbles. And Quake has been dismissed. What the hell? Oh, it's my kid's toys. All right, so now we have some resources. Now we can do some stuff. All right, so let's, without further ado, one, two, three, four, Nick Fury, we're going to draw three cards. One, two, three. All right, I like this. All right, check this out. Uh, we're going to punch for two. Flipping him back. Annoying. Annoying as it is. So, Nick Fury took one. Uh, we're going to take four. We'll be at ten damage. All right, I don't care anymore. Yeah, rage! All right, Lady Sif. Let's start... Let's start removing some threat here. So she'll take one, and we'll remove two threat from him. Alright, so now we've used this. Now we still have all of these nice cards in our hand. Oh no, what am I doing? No, Sif, leave that damn, leave that threat there. Alright, just pound, punch the two there. So Lady Sif is going to bring him down to 16. Alright, let's, uh, let's start doing some stuff here. We're going to play... Defender of the Nine Realms! And we're going to look for a minion. Oh, there you go. So, a hired gun. And we just put him into play. So, when revealed, it's not a when revealed, so he just comes into play like that. Alright. How about the Drawing two extra cards. Oh, man, that is beautiful. We're going to pay four to play an Avengers Mansion. And we'll draw an extra card. Lightning Strike. Alright. Man, <laughs> I got. I want a hammer throw, but I want to play Colson, and Colson gets my other prep. All right, all right, this is what we'll do. We're gonna use. No, we're gonna keep our hammer throws. Ah, uh, son of a gun. Man, let's just do it. I, I, I'm done. I'm, I'm done with these. All right, we're gonna punch for three with Thor. Gets rid of this guy. Let's just keep it. No, all right, so one, two, three. Agent Coulson. Oh, yeah, we removed three, three threat here. Agent Coulson gets us a preparation, so we'll go get our spy craft. That was super, super efficient for us, and we'll play that again because that one avoided our shadow of the past. So that is super good. And then Coulson will remove two threat, and I'm done removing threat now. Now it's all about attack, attack, attack. Now we have three allies on the field, and we have four resources. We're keeping a hammer throw. Two, four, and five. All right, man, we got, we got what we need. All right, first things first. One threat on the main scheme. Goblin is attacking into Fury for four, five. Fury gone. And then our encounter card is Odin's Anger. Oh, man. So... Gordon's anger. Uh, I can I can flip. Oh man, do I want to flip? Why would I want to flip? I'm not gonna flip, but I'm gonna discard. Oh yeah, I'm gonna have to lose Mjolnir. So I'm gonna discard Mjolnir. This is gonna stay, and I'll be stunned. All right, that's unfortunate. That really wrecks my plans. Okay, we are gonna call Woody. Let's go get our hammer back. Uh, let's flip back up. 
There is no threat. Uh, let's just do this. Avengers Mansion to draw card. Daredevil. All right. Man, this is frustrating. Hmm. Oh, I think I could have canceled my obligation. Oh, yeah, I could have actually canceled my obligation. Uh, but whatever, don't matter. All right, so to remove my stun, I'm going to spend three to play a Stealth Strike. I don't have any other events that matter, so I'm going to remove my stun with Stealth Strike, and then I'm, I'm not going to mess around. I'm going to play Honorary Avenger. Uh, sorry, I'm going to play Honorary Avenger on Lady Sif. I am then going to... Oh, no, I'm short one. No, I can't play that. I'm going to play Defender of the Nine Realms to play my Hammer. I'm going to Exhaust Mjolnir. And I'm going to spend it for Honorary Avenger, a Daredevil, and a Hammer Throw. And then I'm going to play a Hammer Throw, bring them down to eight. Rage! All right, let's 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 finish this. All right, some random stuff is popping up. Get out of my face. All right, all right. So there it is. That's done. That's done. Colson. All right, Lady Sif. Do I want her back? I have 19 health. Colson. I'll just use her as a blocker if need be. Uh, let's just ready up. Colson doesn't need to remove any threats. All right, we're good. All right, five cards. One, two, three, four, and five. All right, so another good set of things. All right, we're at 10 damage. We got Lady Sif, we got Colson, and we can prevent a lot of threat from coming on the board. All right, so we're doing super good. Like I said, we're, we thinned out our deck so much that uh, it's just beautiful right now. All right, so one threat on the main scheme. This is not going to be a long game. Uh, Green Goblin is attacking into Lady Sif for five and removing a Madness counter. That is super frustrating. So Lady Sif is gone. Removing one Madness counter. And I am taking two encounter cards. So the first one is caught off guard. All right, Mjolnir, you're out. Yeah, Mjolnir's gone. Where's the other? Why do I have an honorary Avenger? Oh, yeah, I, oh, this should be discarded. All right, never mind. That should have been discarded. There you go. And then the other one is Private Security. How about the drawing two cards? All right, so Stealth Strike and Lodge Out. All right, here we go. So let's. Uh, so do you want to draw more cards, Steve? What's the point? I have two stealth strikes. Ah, I like it. All right. No, that's just, there's no point of playing that. All right. So let's draw a card off of the Avengers Mansion. Another Defender of the Nine Rounds. God dang it. That's a lot. All right. We're going to go one, two, three. So energy and Defender of the Nine Rounds for a stealth strike dealing four damage here. Removing two threats since we did kill the enemy. All right. We are dead. He is at eight. I, I really want to get rid of him. All right. So I haven't used anyone here. So I'm going to use my two God of Thunders and Queen Carrier. So that is three to play another Stealth Strike to bring him down to four. Oh, why am I throwing four in the garbage? Then we are going to use... We are going to use... What's his face? Uh, okay, I need a double... I need a double fighter. All right, so one, two, three. Play Jessica Jones. Punch for two. Thor punches for two. And Green Goblin is out. All right, so he comes in, deals four damage to us. So we're at 14 out of 19. He is here. All right, so that is unfortunate, but it's going to have to happen. We are going to flip 
into Odin Sun, and we're going to stay there. Because we're going to heal. Hopefully, we get our Lady Sif. We're going to get an acceleration on the main scheme, probably, as well. So we get six cards. We, we're going to need to heal. One, two, three, four. Wow, look at this. What a horrible hand this could be. This, this could not be more horrible. <laughs> How is that even possible? All right. Uh, first things first. Uh, one threat goes on the main scheme. He wants the scheme, removes two madness counters. He's flipping back into Norman Osborne, stage three. And then he's getting his encounter card, which is a all in a day's work. All right, so it places two more infamy counters here. So he's at four. That's pretty simple. Let's draw a card off of Avengers Mansion, which is a four Asgard. Thank God. All right. So we are going to heal for six because we have the downtime. All right, healing for six. And then, because it's beautiful, we're going to use a followed to play Full Asgard. And we're going to go get Lady Sif. Because it is a card that has... Where is Lady Sif? Is she in the bin? Oh, she's in my bin. There you go. Uh, so then I get to bring her to the table. I will shuffle. Oh, since I'm there, I will also call Woody. And let's go get our hammer back, because our hammer is also in our discard pile. We lost everything last round. So let's go get this. And now, finally, our turn is not so bad. So we're going to go 1, 2, 3, 4 to play Lady Sif to ready Thor. Thor is going to heal for 6. So I'll be at 2 damage out of 19. We are going to flip... Lady Sif is going to punch, and Jessica Jones is going to punch. And then, bam, we're flipping him back to State of Madness. He's got 22 health. I forgot to change his health dial. 22 health. Uh, we're going to take 4 damage, so we'll be at 6. And, man, I, I really hope I get a Justice card. Oh, wait, wait. I don't even need it. Hammer, and then one, two, three. Wait, 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 wait here. Colson, punch for one. Colson punches for one. And then one, two, three, four. Lock jump. Where are you, puppy? <whistles> Colson, get out of here. You bother me. So Colson's out. Lock jaw's in. Lock jaw punches for two. So he's at 19. All right, this is going to go fast. There we go. There is no way I am dying to threat. I have Lockjaw, Sif, and everyone else. I have all my resources. And yeah, and I have a Power of Justice. Two, three, four, five cards. All right, this is going to be another disgusting thing. I think we're taking him out this turn. All right. First things first. One threat on the main team. There's only two madness counters here. Uh, he's attacking into Lockjaw for four plus uh, remove a madness. All right. Lockjaw gone. And then the encounter card. Schemes. Son of a gun. <laughs> he flips again. All right. So two more. Man, this is super frustrating. Having him flip back and forth, and then there's a permanent acceleration here. All right. So that was the final card. So that advance is going to stay there. We're going to just shuffle. And then all the bad cards come back. But I'm not too scared because we have this game. All I need to do is draw into... Um, Draw to my hammer throws, and then he gone. Because we just need to do two, so and that that's what's going to happen here. All right, that went away. There you go, Jessica Jones. Punch for two. She gone. Flip him back, son of a gun. Ah! Four more damage. I'm back to ten damage. Man, that was quick. He is he is pretty fast. 
Okay. Punch for two with Lady Sif. He's at 17. I will draw a card, which is a Quake. All right. We're going to... Defender of the Nine Realms. And then reveal until we find a minion, which is a security guard. Uh, how about the drawing one and two? Perfect. We got our hammer throw. Uh, there we go. We're going to go. We're going to punch for three in the, in, the, in the guard. Oh, man. We're so close. And then we're going to go... One, two, three. We're going to exhaust Mjolnir to do a hammer throw. So one and do seven. He's down to ten. Bam! That goes away. This comes back here. This is spent. Mjolnir back into our hand. And then, check this out. Uh, do we have enough? Oh, we don't have enough. All right. So we're going to go Nick Fury with two honorary Avengers and, and this. So that is going to do six damage. Bam. So he's doing four plus two. So he is down to four. And then we're going to play Quake. That is going to punch for two. So he's at two. And it's just a joke from now on because there is nothing, nothing he can do. And he is defeated even though he won't admit it. <laughs> all right, so there's two, four, six cards. You know what? Let's give him all the chances. We're going to flip on back into Odinson right here. Oh, you know what? Are we flipping? No, nah, let's just let's just stay in as Thor. Let's just stay as Thor uh, and draw five cards. So one, two, three, four, and five. Oh man, I'm still killing him with a lightning strike or hammer throw. Bring on the thunder! The thunder! All right. So uh, two threat on the main scheme. It goes to four out of eleven. Uh, he's attacking into Nick Fury for four plus one is five. Goodbye, Nicholas. And then his encounter card is Master Plan. And there you go, running interference. Uh, you can just have three threat there, man. I don't care. And this is it. Game over. We're going to draw a card, which is another hammer throw. And get an encounter card. Oh, man. Over overkill. Oh, we can't. <laughs> so... We don't have the aerial trait, but it don't matter because we're going to go. Uh, we're going to use a first aid to play a lightning strike. And then we're going to lightning strike for one, two, three, four, five. And then the rest of the, the rest don't matter. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven damage. Rage! There we go. So Goblin has been defeated uh, using Justice. He gone, and that was the game. So uh, thank you guys so much for watching. I know some of you guys were there, up there, uh, watching this game. So Thor using the justice aspect. Uh, as you can see, you don't need to have three copies of counterintelligence. You don't need to have three copies of each card. Uh, the more diverse your deck is, the more you'll be able to find solutions to pretty much anything. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. My name's Steve. And until next time, keep on playing Marvel Champions and beat the game.